Hello, I'm Christy with GreenLivingOffGrid.com and today we're going to do a review of my greenhouse aquaponics system. I have fish here in these uh, horse troughs and they're, they provide just enough nutrients for these beans. The water siphons through these tubs into the grow bins and it provides everything that is needed for these beans to flower and produce fruit. As you can see I have some beans growing here and some flowers developing here. So this is my aquaponic system in the lower shelves and in the upper bins I have these tomato tubs. These are deep water culture bins. They have aerators inside and uh, I run them off the fish water but I also include hydroponic nutrients for tomato, a tomato formula that helps to give these just a little bit more nutrients because tomatoes need more nutrients than what my six fish in each of these bins can provide. So this is my hydroponic setup up here and below is my aquaponic system. Now let's take a closer look at how I've designed this system. Alright, I want to show you how this aquaponic system is set up. I have these little 10 gallon trays with beans that are growing in the lid of the trays with three inch net pots and in each of these bins I have a bulkhead drilled in the side with some right angles and PVC pipes that bring the water out into the fish tank and as you can see I have a little right angle PVC inside attached to the bulkhead that uh, keeps the water level right where I want it. And you can see the roots. The roots of my beans. They do really well in this aquaponics system. They're starting to flower now. And I don't have to add any nutrients. Beans do just fine on aquaponics with a few little goldfish. I just have six goldfish in my 85 gallon tub and I also have here is the pump that pumps into the little unit little PVC pipe along the back I have some insulation just to kind of maintain temperatures and I use the PVC valves so that I can control how much water flow goes into each of the tubs each of the trays. So it pumps out of this little sump tank over here and flows into the trays and then back to the fish tank through a garden hose that I have set up connects to the fish tank down below. So everything is maintained, water, the water level just maintains between the fish tank and the sump tank. I have the sump tank braced up a little bit so that it doesn't uh, doesn't overflow and also if something ever happens and I have a leak I don't want it to drain out my water in my fish tank so I'll have the sump tank set up a little bit so I've got a few inches gap between that and the bottom of my fish tank so again we want to maintain the water level if something ever happens with a leak in the system but that is pretty much how I designed my aquaponics system to work. Just cycles through and I have everything set up on timers too because garden hoses run a little bit slower in the flow. Then they don't keep up. The water level flow back to the tank is a little bit slow. So I have timers. I have a one minute on and then four minutes off timer in my system. Usually people do larger pipes for their aquaponics so that they don't have water flow issues but because I have to winterize everything I live in Colorado 7500 feet we get down to negative 10 sometimes in the winter can't run this all year round have to be able to winterize everything so I just take the garden hose off and blow everything out blow the lines out it's pretty easy to winterize and my fish do really well with my little fish tank system I use sponge filters as a secondary filter system so I'm not relying solely upon the aquaponics system to maintain the water quality for my fish. When I can winterize the, the system and I don't have my plants 
to help with that. I just do frequent water changes, usually once a week in the uh, the winter time. And in the summer, I can usually go two, three weeks before I do a major water change, as long as I'm I keep the tank stable, uh, making sure everything is clean when it needs to be done, and I provide prime and stability whenever I do water changes. So we keep that that biofiltration strong, going strong with the filters inside the tank. Now another thing I do with my aquaponics system is I use this, uh, this pump here that comes on up and goes into my tomato system up here. So I use fish water to supplement the nutrients for, for my tomatoes. So my fish water fills the tomato tanks and tomato tubs once a week and then I add nutrients, the tomato hydroponic nutrients to the tubs once a month just to supplement what the fish water is providing because they need a little bit more supplementation in order to fruit and uh, flower properly. So this is a, strictly a hydroponic setup in that I do not have the water for my tomatoes cycling back into the fish tank. Um, I do keep it on a separate system but I do bring the fish water into these what I call deep water culture tubs right here and these have aeration in them and then of course I do supplement the, the, new, the fish water nutrients with an additional nutrient um, the tomato hydroponic formula and sometimes I'll also have to add a little bit of calcium nitrate because tomato um, the tomato formula master blends in particular needs a little bit more supplementation to support green growth at times and the aquaponics does provide good um, nitrates but it sometimes just needs a little bit more a little bit more to uh, provide these guys what they need. So I have quite a few flowers growing here and whenever you are growing tomatoes in a hydroponic setup like this because it's not getting all the breezes from outside and the insects and everything to pollinate these flowers all you have to do is just kind of shake them a little bit and that helps them self pollinate I do that once a day and as you can see here I have some tomatoes that are starting on these plants so this little this little system here in the greenhouse is doing really well Just come out and, and shake the little flowers and pretty soon we're gonna have some cherry tomatoes on these tomato plants Some people might be asking, how do I support these plants? You can see I'm using tomato cages. I actually just cut the feet off the bottom of these cages and just set them on top of the lid. And then, because up here at the top, I also have support beams that support the greenhouse. In the back, I'll tie these guys so that they, uh, they're, they're real stable for the tomatoes as they're growing in the greenhouse. So this is my greenhouse aquaponics hydroponics setup. As you can see here, I've got quite a few tomatoes in these 18 uh, gallon deep water culture tubs. I have two tomato plants for each one and pretty much fills the greenhouse with a nice little canopy of tomatoes every year. And that also helps to keep the temperature more stable in the greenhouse too. I also have a fan here in this uh, Solux greenhouse and when the temperature gets hot enough it will turn on and uh, help keep it the air more stable in here as well air temperature so I really haven't had any problems it, here at 7500 feet our summers don't get much above 90 degrees anyway during the day so with the uh, the aquaponic water from my fish tanks, which also help to keep the temperature stable in my greenhouse. We'll keep it down a little bit because you have these large tanks that are providing um, a little more stability in the greenhouse uh, temperatures. It, it really does make a difference to run aquaponics to keep those temperatures down. 
and because uh, that water from the aquaponics also supports these uh, bins up here with tomatoes I don't have the problem with the uh, bins getting too hot everything grows pretty well in this system so all I have to do is just aerate the reserves provide the little additional nutrients and these tomatoes thrive very well in this greenhouse aquaponics hydroponic system I also connect each of my bins with um, quick connect fittings that can disconnect in the winter time and also because I have all of my bins connected with these fittings I'm also able to regulate the water in the bins easier too because the water will flow between the bins and maintain the the height the water height so when I fill them all I have to do is really check the height the water height of one of the bins and then I know how much water is in each of the bins so, hope this gives you guys some ideas if you're setting up a hydroponic, aquaponic system in your greenhouse. This has really made a difference in the produce I get each year for my plants. Thanks again for watching. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe and check us out at Green Living Off Grid dot com